we have just brought the closing down on the season of 2024 and we've had a fabulous night here in the Parkview Hotel. I'm joined on stage by Shay and Amanda from Glenealy GAA and Camogie. Amanda, I'm going to start with you. Sum up that night. <laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible from start to finish. It, it far exceeded our expectations and everyone in the room, they're just brimming with energy. And how many did we have here tonight? We didn't do a final count, but it was definitely pushing 400. You can't say officially. <laughs> <laughs> We've just said it, so it doesn't make any difference. But there were a lot more tickets sold for people who said that they were going to support and not arrive. Yeah, there was. I, we probably sold 400 spectator tickets. Yeah, and we made a lot of money here today. It was yeah. un unbelievable reading. And you had 24 great contestants. Yeah, really good and really well, really well uh, sponsored by the people around them you know there was so much money was f focused into this and the contestants like grabbed in their money so so well like, it was super 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 going on and i think the joyous thing for me when i was looking at the book was that the sponsors came from far and wide oh, we had such a wide reach we didn't expect it we, and glen Ely are a very small village so we didn't think we thought we'd struggle but like obviously the contestants really helped with that because they had a really far reach they had lots of contacts especially the older ones and they they played it to our advantage so grateful for that well your contestants range from young to old here tonight and there wasn't one of them that i could say didn't stand up when they were asked to to, to step up to the mark yeah and it was it was such a wide range and that's it's great to spread across the two clubs so we were able to get that wide range of people you know kind of but when you split it all down it's very the whole thing is so big, but when it's split into into chunks, it's very it was very very well done, really. Yeah. And was there a plan for the money that's going to be raised tonight? There is. Uh, obviously, every club always needs funds coming in, um, and we rely heavily on the the support from businesses. As I said, we want to encourage our juveniles and really pump into the development, and and because it obviously starts from there, starts from our kids. And as we've seen in the past, we look after our kids and they in turn look after us when they're adults. We have so many volunteers because they were treated that way when they were kids. And I think one of the important points you made was keeping girls involved, particularly in sport. 100%. I'm very passionate about that. For boys and girls, I think it's so important for everyone. But unfortunately, the drop-off rate is far more significant for girls for some reason. So it's really breaking that trend hopefully with, with the help tonight now we will. Well, I think talking about breaking the trend when I was on one of the zoom calls with you I think it was about 90% females on the call <laughs> there was you were a blessed art day amongst women you were that night <laughs> I, well, I couldn't get Wi-Fi that day like. well it was probably as well you didn't um, the, the group that you had on your committee and you were working with obviously fundraising events tell us how that experience went that was so good. We're very fortunate in Glen Ely because we have the core group of people that are there on hand to help with no matter what you have coming up. They're there at the drop of the hat and they put endless hours in and it's all hours taken out of their own time and their own commitments. So we're very lucky and working with event company, with fundraising events group, we've worked with them in the past. It's always been, you know, every call was answered, every question was answered. We were given advice, even by yourself when it came to reaching out to, to get some more revenue. It's been fantastic and, and took a lot of pressure off us to concentrate on getting the money in. Well, brilliant. I want to say that this was a fabulous show here tonight. We've had fun like we haven't had for a long time. It was excellent. I enjoyed myself. And normally I say that if I'm enjoying myself, they must be enjoying themselves. And I hope your crowd did. Yeah, I think you were brilliant. You made the whole night. To be fair to you now, compliment you on that. You're so good. So much fun. right? And with so many people coming on you, it was it was really, really great night and made by yourself now, to be fair. Thanks very much. Well, will we, will we shake on this that the next time Glen Ely is doing something that you'll either, if I'm not doing it, that you'll bring me to it? Yes, definitely, yeah. yeah. Amanda, thanks for taking all the phone calls and answering the way. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate yours. Listen, happy Christmas to you both and to the club and go and spend that money wisely.